Hi, I'm Maxim Cannon. Tonight, we have a special bonus. The making of is Terrible Twin. The first movie I've ever made for Catalina. Enjoy. Catalina's boat, filled with the models and crew, pulls into port in Provincetown. Well, we gave those fishermen quite an eyeful. You're gonna have a whole reel of the best of Brad for some time. <laughs> when you piss in the water, it attracts the sharks. Really? Oh, man. Nah, I've just made that up. <laughs> It was 110 in the shade because of the humidity that no one on the Casa crew was used to. Of course, I had to break the news that first day of shooting, we were doing a two mile hike into the dunes where supposedly it was going to be just us and nature. Softcore Brad Moffat. Well, first off, it was fucking hot and humid. And then we had to hike through these dunes. So we get that done, and I start shooting my stills, and things are going really good until I realized that we weren't alone. The dunes were crawling with all these locals, and they weren't the kind you'd want to photograph and all, it was just, it was not a pretty sight, it was, it was hideous. So once we had discovered that, you know, the dunes were just crawling with, uh, you know, cocksuckers um, like ourselves, I, I told my second cameraman, Tony Fontana, get up on that hill, your security, if anyone comes walking towards our set, let us know, you know, get on the bullhorn and, and yell it out so that we can put some clothes on the guys. Good stream. I'd make some of this pretty fun. Cool. Oh, wait. Hang on. And then I uh, picked up camera two and started shooting right along uh, cameraman Brad Austin. Fucking load. Yeah. Perfect cut. Great. Fantastic. <laughs> Very good. Excellent. It's a stick. It's a trick. Even Mr. McGuire needs. Oh, dude. It is nice. How do you spell review? See, keep these weeks up. We were scheduled to start to shoot in October, but since we were doing this East Coast trip in the summer, we decided we're going to go get all our exteriors and, uh, and start shooting the movie there with, um, with Ray Harley and, and Brad McGuire. So that's why you'll notice there's a um, Harpersville Cemetery mentioned in the movie. Well, it's because Blake Harper was the initial lead in the movie. Well, between the summer shoot and October, when we really started filming the movie, um, Blake Harper had to back out as the lead. So, um, needless to say, I was scrambling because I specifically wrote this movie for him. So I had to find someone who was capable of doing the movie that I thought could really pull it off. So um, I was reviewing a movie called Bun Boys and there was this model named Andy Hunter who was in it and definitely had the standout scene. And um, when I saw him, I thought, that's my 
evil, wicked little bitch twin. Destiny, I was like, yeah, of course I have to do this movie. <laughs> You know, I was a little hesitant at first because, you know, she kept telling me how sick she was, but, you know, she's a trooper and everything went really well and you couldn't even tell. I mean, you know, she was, she was really easy to work with, lots of fun. Yeah, Sharon Kane was suffering all right. I never seen her sick as a dog like that. But you know what? Once I said roll and action, she was on it. Except for a few bloopers. Action. That part where you questioned your brother about Dr. Deleuze's experience. <laughs> Ledoux. Ledoux. Yeah. Ledoux. <laughs> and rolling. Action. That part where you questioned your brother about Dr. Ledoux. Did I do that right? Yeah, Dr. Okay. Ledoux. Okay. And still rolling? Mm hmm. And action. That part where you questioned your brother about Dr. Ledoux's experience. Or <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's, ow, <laughs> Good, like, my, the side of my right. mouth. <laughs> <Ow. laughs> Action. <laughs> that's really funny. Ah, <laughs> uh, shit. I forgot my script. You're not in the key. God damn it. Right there. Right there. And you're just being yourself and action. So tell me. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, sir. I left my script in the dressing room. Why don't you guys go ahead? I'll catch up with you later. Do you want us to wait? No. All right. Talk to you later. Want to find it. Bye, Marina. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> we do that. Oh. That part where you questioned your brother about Doctor Deleuze's disappearance. Ledoux. God damn it. <laughs> Rolling. That part where you questioned your brother about Dr. Ledoux's experience. Ah, oh, shit! <laughs> <laughs> God damn. Oh, I swear to God. <laughs> Ledoux. Disappearance. Okay. She's been in the porno industry for what, 25 years. Um, you know, the age of me, pretty much. So that was that was pretty funny, and I pretty much thought it as an honor that, you know, I can, you know, be able to do um, some B-rolls with her and uh, it was really fun actually. I didn't really have any expectations, um, good or bad, before I walked in there. So um, it all worked out really well and we had a really good time together. It was fun. Well, Andy and Hunter had his own troubles that day. All that fucking dialogue, it would make anyone crazy. And also, he had to act like his twin and himself, and acting to himself. It was it was crazy. I, I couldn't have done it. You have some nerve showing your face around here. Now get the fuck out of my house. Not until I'm done saying what I came to say. Good cut. Now remember, you're Jacob Beast. You're the evil one. So be extra. Evil. Oh, I'm evil right now. Yeah, sure. Okay. Evil. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay. laughs> Rolling. Rolling. Chin down. Action. Jacob! <laughs> <laughs> After all that prep, huh? Okay. 
Richard and I went to Dr. Delu when we were children. <laughs> Ledu. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> Why? You think you can make me plan what I change on doing? <laughs> <laughs> this is ridiculous. Okay. <laughs> Harley was hands down the king of flubs. Had I known that Blake Harper was going to drop out of the movie, I could have easily changed the name of Harpersville Cemetery to something else, you know, like Acme Cemetery, something that Ray could say. An old clipping from the Harpersville Examiner. Harpersville. I can't, I know I have a speech impediment. Okay. Harpersville. Harpersville. Just slow it down. I, I can't do my honors. Yeah. Yeah. An old clipping from the Harpers. Harpersville. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Action. Let's go. Then let's, then, let's go. then let's go. Then let's go. Okay. Move that script so I don't see it. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the script we need to nail. An old clipping from a Harper. The Harper. Oh, God! <laughs> the paper? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Give me one short little line and I find out like five minutes. <laughs> okay. What happened, Jacob? What happened to your brother that fucked you up so royally? You're a royal now. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was bad. I don't normally rent my spare room out, but when John told me you were coming out back east... <laughs> we're doing that for the... <laughs> <laughs> and rolling, looking at each other. And action. <laughs> we're doing that, finally put a smile on your face. One more time. Thank you. Do that fine, smile on your face. Okay. And looking at each other. Yep. An old clipping from Harper's Vault with Van Lilla. <laughs> Harper's Vault. Bring your hand off the chair, Brad. Okay. And action. I don't normally. Back, look to the camera. Look to the camera? You did. Look to the camera okay. One yep. And rolling and action. I don't normally rent out my spare room, but when John told me you were coming out back east to perform at the local theater, I thought, why not? It's just coming back to the stuff. Yeah, coming up and scrolling. Harley's nervousness started to rub off on that hunky Jack Van Dien. Wow, man, he's a he's a hottie. And action. Yeah, but with Jacob, once you touch, you definitely want to. Oh no, sorry. What? <laughs> <laughs> once you touch, you definitely want to look. <laughs> that one. <laughs> yeah. Action. You have no idea how happy I am that the two of two. So you're going to be living together and happy and action. You have no idea how happy I am that the two of you are going to be living together. Good. A little noise. Tilt down. Rolling. Good on the reading and action. You have no idea how happy I am that the two of you are going to be living together. Good. No, he messed it up. Did it again. Did. Yeah, I did. Okay, rolling. And you're happy about it and you have no idea how happy I am that the two of you are going to be living together. Good. Put the camera jiggle. Well, he tapped his foot, too. So. Oh. That's okay. <laughs> Not okay. It was an awesome shoot. Over the six months that we spent making this movie, I really can't recall a, a more fun, lighthearted set. The, the cast was great, the crew was awesome as always, and um, it's definitely one of my favorites. So I'm saying what? Nothing. I show cut through the thing, you're just gonna raise it up from behind and hurl it at the camera. Rolling. Rolling. And looking at him. I get him out of the way. I know, but I'm done. And I'm a mean, I'm mean for the night. Go wider. A little bit. There. And actually start by looking down over your shoulder, then up to him and then hurl the knife. And Action. Okay. <laughs> You're like a girl. <laughs> Where'd it go?